guys, it's Jessica with Expressions Final, and today I want to show you how to curve your design to match a curve on your project. So I have a platter that I bought from Hobby Lobby um, that is a circle, and I want to make my design kind of curve around the edges of that. So I'm going to show you how I set that up. Um, this is my design right here, and so I'm going to mimic it and show you guys uh, how I did it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to the draw an eclipse and I am going to draw a circle that is the same size as my platter. So I measured my platter and it was 12 inches across. So I'm just going to use these little squares to drag drag the edges and get my size just right. Okay, so I've got that set at 12, pretty close to 12. And then I'm going to go over here and click on my text button and I'm going to type out burnt by dad and then I'm going to change this font to the Bernard so if I double click and then drag my mouse across um, it will highlight everything and then I can choose my font So I'm going to choose this one. Okay, now I have this little circle here with the arrows. I am going to dr drag this and put it on top of my circle. See how if I drag it over and connect it to my circle, it just grabs on. And you could do it underneath. Um, just depends on which way you want it to face. So I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. And I do want it to face this way, um, but then if I click on this little button over here, I can make it lower or higher, and I want it in the inside of my circle. I'm also going to go over here to character spacing, and I'm going to space out my words a little bit. And I'm also going to play with my font size. It's a little small. And see, when I changed my font to be bigger, it moved my little arrow. So I'm going to make sure that's still on the inside of my circle. And I still want to space out that, my words a little bit. So you can either highlight it and type them in, or you can click on the arrows. I find the arrows go a little bit slow, so I just type it in. So that's looking like a pretty good size. I think I still want it. I want it spaced out a little more, so we're going to do 130. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to, because it's got the right size of my letters, and I'm going to highlight over it and write in the rest of my phrase. King of the Grill. And you can see that it went on two lines, but if I go over here on the very edge till those arrows pop up and just drag it over till it's on one line. And then I'm going to hook this onto the inside, but I want it facing, I want it on the outside of the circle. There we go. Ah, it's a fine line. <laughs> there we go. And I want it on the inside. So I'm just going to drag that button till it's on the edge. Okay. And now I need to make sure it's centered. So I'm going to go up here to the right hand corner and I'm going to open the grid settings window and I'm going to click on show grid. I want them one inch and I don't want any divisions. So these are one inch squares. I'm also going to go up here to my design page setting and I'm going to change the size of, size of my page for just a minute so I can get this centered. So I'm going to center my circle, line it up with the squares so I can see the middle. So right here they would intersect for the middle. 
and then I'm going to double click on my letters and just get those centered in the circle. And I'm going to do the bottom one. If I double click, it brings up that box where I can center it. So that one was. And then let go, and it's there. All right, now I'm going to go over to my library. And I'm going to type in grill. There he is. And if I just double click on him, this is one I purchased from the Silhouette store. He will just drop right into my design. And I'm going to make him a little bigger, so I'm going to grab the corner here and just drag it with my mouse and then let go. And I'm also going to make sure he's nice and centered. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the grid lines because they get a little bit... There's a lot going on when you have grid lines. And I'm also going to go back to my design page and set it up so it's the same size as my vinyl so I don't mess that up. Um, I also want to go up here to draw a rectangle and I just want to draw a box around what's actually going to cut. And one thing I want to point out is uh, when you drew that circle, if I go back up here I'll show you. I draw a circle and it's a red line so that means it's going to cut if I were to put it on over here on my mat and put it through send it to my machine. But when I type letters and drag them and hook them to that circle, it just becomes a guide. It's not going to cut. So I've got my letters up here that are in red and they are going to cut um, if I were to drag them over here to my white mat. But this circle is not going to cut. So we can delete all that out. and make sure it's on my mat. Whoops. So I'm going to select this all and just get it lined up with my mat. And then I'm going to go up here to my Send to Silhouette button. Adjust my cut settings. Click on Vinyl. And then if I drag that toolbar down I can adjust my speed here and my thickness, and I'm going to do it on a 5, and then send it to my silhouette. Okay, so we've got our vinyl all cut, and I am using the Oracal 631 removable adhesive vinyl. Um, the first thing we're going to do is trim off our corners here. So we've got the curve of our letters going that's going to match the curve of our tray here. So we're going to trim the corners so it's a little easier to put on. And I've already trimmed the top. So I'm going to just trim these ones closest to the letters as I can, but not getting the letters in the way of my knife. Okay, and we're going to peel off the backing paper. And I'm just going to do this top half to get us started. Bring our tray over and line this up. And if it sticks down, if you pull it up really fast, it won't stick. Um, if you do it slow, though, you'll rip your vinyl. So get it lined up there, and then take your application tool and rub that bottom half down. And then we'll take the backing off of the top part. And then rub that part down with our app tool. Then we're going to peel off our transfer tape. And see how our curve matches nicely with the curve of our tray? So if you get it set up in your program just right, you'll be able to match the curve. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.